John Varty and Elman and Schlongu, lifelong friends and fellow filmmakers, have spent many years documenting this fierce conflict. One morning there was this big commotion. We heard bellowing and from a couple of kilometers away. And came on these two hippo bulls fighting over territory. Hippo bulls are very, very territorial, and each bull commands a section of the river. Now, what they do, they try to lock their jaws. The one bull tries to turn the other one on his side. If he can get him down, then straight away he'll go for the throat and he will gore that opponent. I went down and I was filming. I was getting some very good shots as the bulls try to throw each other. After fighting for probably 20 minutes, the two bulls turn and they ran, and the one Hippo went down into the water, and the other hippo kept after him, biting him on the flanks, biting him on the behind, chased him right out of the territory, and it went into the bush on the other side. Elman said to me, JV, don't go into the bush. The hippo's dangerous, it's wounded, it's just come out of a fight, forget it. I told JV not to go after the injured hippo, but he never listens to me. As normal, I wanted to get a shot, so we went in. Just as Elman predicted, the hippo turned on his pursuers. I ran for my life. I can just remember right behind me the crashing of the bushes. He was making a snorting sound, and suddenly there was nothing. JV and Elmon couldn't understand what had happened and turned back to find out. When the water floods, it undermines the banks, it weakens them. And what had happened with a three-ton hippo bull charging behind us, he had collapsed the bank. A natural process of erosion had miraculously saved their lives. The hippo fell 40 feet down the bank. Sadly, the animal was killed instantly in the heavy fall. If that bank hadn't have collapsed, he would have just trampled me down and then bit me in half with these massive jaws that he has. The only reason JV and I survived is because that hippo fell down the bank. 